The Florida Power Boat Club's international go-fast enthusiasts gather for boating outings to exotic and scenic locations where 100 mile an hour is just part of the trip. But the most long-standing and impressive congregation of performance boats is the Key West Poker Run held each November in conjunction with the Race World Offshore World Championship races. This year, nearly 300 performance boats congregated as race spectators, but the real spectacle is the massive show of performance boats of all makes and styles, from closed canopy V-bottoms and catamarans to top performing center consoles with a multitude of outboard engines. A poker run is a multi-stop event where boaters pick up playing cards to compete for the winning hand revealed at the Saturday night dinner party. While the winner gets money and prizes, there are bragging rights for other coveted awards like the best paint job, best dressed crew, or the farthest traveled. This small segment of the international boat market is passionate about power and loves sharing the thrill. Groups leave Miami over three days making the trip to Key West, creating one of the greatest on-water displays of power, panache, and pleasure. Hi, I'm Marilyn Demartini with Yacht World, and we're here at the beginning of day two of the Florida Power Boat Club 29th Poker Run. This is an annual event that uh, now has 290 boats coming down to Key West in conjunction with the Race World Offshore Annual Championships. So this is a lunch and fuel stop at Chief Marine Group here in Isla Morada, Florida. There's an assortment of boats starting to come in. The fast cats came in first. Now the center consoles are coming in. And we should have about 100 of the nearly 300 boats that are registered for this run coming through this afternoon on their way to Key West. It's going to get loud and exciting here. So stay tuned as we give you a lifestyle glimpse of the Go Fast crowd in South Florida. So I'm here with John Ruiz, the new owner of Cigarette Racing Team. And John, you've done this run from uh, Miami to Key West many times. Uh -huh. How's it feel to be doing it in the 29th Fuller Power Boat Club poker run as the owner of the company yeah. and a sponsor of the race? Well, first of all, I think the people are great. It's amazing. Uh, all the different brand of boats has so many catamarans and V-bottoms and opens and it just gives you you know, that spirit of boating that everybody loves so much. And to be able to do it for such a long distance and pretty much, you know, be able to open up the, the throttle all the way down is, is pretty exciting. And so now halfway here to Key West, where there's a lot of festivities going on. And it's exciting for me to hear that Cigarette Racing Team is also a sponsor of the races. Yes. That you're back in the game. Yeah, so look, I think the vision uh, that I have and as well as my, my kids because my kids are very involved uh, in cigarette is to really expand you know through social media get the word out there because cigarette uh, is synonymous with speed boats as Ferrari is with fast cars and and I think the word uh, needs to get out more because the brand even though it's always been a, a great brand uh, it was kind of like silenced because there weren't that many boats being produced and they weren't uh, participating in a lot of events so we just went to the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Everybody was in, in awe. Uh, Cigarette's just one of those brands that people just love. Uh, whether it's apparel, whether it's, you know, just looking at the boats, looking at a, at a magazine, whatever it is, it's just really, really li like it. And I didn't re realize how much people liked it because I had five of them before I bought the company. But now that you own the company, you, you see how much people just adore the brand. And you came down on one of your kind of classic performance yes. boats but you also have the line of Performance Center consoles. Correct. And you have some other things in mind too as yeah. well. Tell us about that. So I came in a 515, which is a nine and a half foot beam boat, you know, 51 feet, 
with uh, 1550 uh, Mercury engines. Uh, there's another sister boat here that's right next to it that's over here at Smuggler's Cove, which is now Chief Marine. Uh, we're proud to say that Chief Marine is now an authorized dealer of cigarette all the way down you know, from uh, Key West to Key Largo. Uh, we're very excited with them, great group of people, a lot of experience in the, in the boating industry, uh, so that's great. Uh, cigarettes expanding everywhere, it's uh, overseas. Uh, we sold, uh, we've tripled sales of the company in just five months. Uh, we're super excited, we're, we have personal watercraft, you know, wave runners that are already in production. They should be out early next year. Uh, we unveiled, at least in concept, our 52-foot uh, boat, which is the T-52. And that comes both in uh, the model like the 59 Tirana, but it also comes with a different deck, uh, which is gonna be for fishing purposes, and we're calling that the Maverick. Uh, so we're going up to 130 feet. Uh, we've secured locations to uh, uh, expand production. Uh, we have a lot of technology into the boats. We have something called Lumency, which was patented by me about a year ago. That's illuminated channel markers. We have, uh, you know, collision detection systems that we're introducing into the boats. So your background as an attorney, as an inventor, yes. and as a powerboat aficionado yes. all comes together here it, at Cigarette. It, it does. Um, you know, I've always liked, since I was a small kid, to innovate. And that's kind of what keeps me going. So I find that boating, is 25 years behind in technology. Uh, you look at airplanes and you look at cars and you compare them to boats and the technology isn't there. Last year, I think the number is 415,000 new boaters that may not really know how to navigate. And you know, it is a dangerous sport if you don't do it properly. And I think my number one thing is safety. It's always been, it will always continue to be. And I wanna make Cigarette the best boat in, in the world and the safest boat in the world. And that's really where, where, we're, where we're headed. But we're going to be following you, and we're going to come down to see you for our Boats.com Factory yes. Friday tour. That's great. Soon, That's too. going to be great. So if you're going to be following me, you better be in a fast boat because we're doing over 100 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be in a cigarette. <laughs> okay, okay. So you're going to keep up with it. Okay. Great, great Jenna, thank you. you. Great, great seeing you out here. Uh, you know, we're on our way to Key West now. Uh, tonight, you're more than invited. I'm sure you're going to make it there. We have a, a, a huge uh, event on the Namaste, which is uh, our bigger boat. And it starts at 8.30, so I invite all of you. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Great, we will see you in Key West. Thanks for joining You're us welcome. here with John Ruiz. Thank you. We're here with Tommy Hofstetter, one of the operating partners of the new Murata Cove. Chief Marine Group, is the investor group that put this together. And tell me, what an yeah. accomplishment from you, going from chief engines back in the in the heyday yeah. to this operation now. So we're just having a ball down here. Um, so uh, uh, about eight months ago, we bought the property, opened up Chief Marine Group, and we're doing sales and service. We have five boat lines now. Um, Cigarette, Camus, Front Runner, Explorer Boats, and Costa Boats. So we have a great sales team together down here. It's been working out great, uh, as well as a service team and getting back in the action with the speedboats as well. Well, and here you are, your, your first poker run after doing many yeah. as a participant to be the host of this in this ideal location here, right at the Snake River, yeah. or Snake Creek. Yeah, right? so um, uh, we were figuring it out. It's been 33 years I've done the, the Key West poker run. I just love the keys. The, uh, the ride down is fantastic, right? I mean, it's just so beautiful coming down through the Keys. And we rode up to Miami today and rode down with everybody. We're a lunch stop here for uh, Florida Powerboat Club and uh, fuel stop as well. And that's been uh, great because, you know, people come coming here, enjoying the, uh, the restaurant and the bar, getting some fuel. You know, we're halfway down to, to Key West, so it's been great. Right. Well, this is one of the stops on the poker run and we'll be taking it all the way down to Key West. So stay tuned. Hi, we're here in Key West getting ready for one of the famous Key West sunsets. Sitting on board a Mystic Power Boat with the manufacturer and developer, John Kosker. John, it's a pleasure to be with you here because we go back a long way to racing days. Yeah. John built his reputation not only by 
designing as a naval engineer the bottoms of many other power boats, but developing his own line of race boats that segued into what is now the big power center, center consoles. consoles and the go fast catamarans. Yeah. Yeah. So you really segued into where the market is calling you. Tell us a little bit about how much this poker run means to you and how many of your boats are here. You know, this is kind of the, we have two big events a year. Basically, it's the Lotto shootout in August and it's this event in November. So, um, you know, both those events do great things for us because everybody gets to see how the boats run, they get to interact with it. And it's actually, it's a really good gathering of Mystic owners too. Like on the way down today, we had a dozen Mystics running together. And a lot of people, you know, they come down from up north with their boats and things like that. They don't get a chance to boat in the Keys that much. So, you know, getting able to go through the Keys with them and then go to lunch with them. And then, you know, once you get to Key West, it kind of disperses a little bit down here, but it's a nice event run on the way down. And we really get to showcase all of our equipment on the way down. And when you're here next to all of the different manufacturers, it really is a, is a great show and tell area, isn't it? Oh, it, it? absolutely is. You know, I have a customer who always says that's why they make chocolate and vanilla, and we have all the flavors here. You know, everything from, you know, a black water fishing boat to the Midnight Express to the Deep Impacts, you know, to be on this wall with the Mystic, you know, it's an honor for us to be alongside these other boats here and to be able to showcase, you know, what we build and, and people can walk down the dock and say, you know, I like that, but I like that more on this boat. So it's, it's a really good shopping experience for, for people here too. So. Tell us a little bit about the range of models that you manufacture. You know, right now we build, um, we build two center consoles, we build 38 and a 42. We also build an outboard cat. You know, we have our heritage in racing. We used to race the 50-foot Mystics here, you know, all the time in Key West. Um, I race personally. Um, you know, we kind of crossed the island a while back where we, we got out of the racing business, we got into this business, and we've really been focused on this side of it. But, um, you know, I really enjoy the center console market. I always tell everybody, it got us back into boating. You know, when we build race boats, it's basically, you go out, you run really fast, and then you work on the boat for the next two or three days. We're here you get to really go explore. I mean, Robin and I will launch this boat in July that we're on right now. We've got about 2,500 miles on this now. So we've been, you know, to New England watching whales. We're off the Lake of those like shootout with it. We're in Key West with it now. So, you know, they're traveling vehicles. We've been all over the place with this one. So it's, it's really gotten my family and I back into boating. And it's, it's really wonderful to see other families, you know, in the Mystics and really enjoying themselves with them. And that's really where this market evolved from, right? Everybody in the Go Fast boats had families and they needed yeah. more space yeah. and more boat to take yeah, them they, out. The, the guys who had the Apaches in the 80s and 90s, they're grandparents now. So, right. you know, they want more room, but I always say they don't want to go slow. You know, they don't want to cruise at 30 or 40. We cruise 60, 65 miles an hour all the way down from Miami today in this. So, you're still covering ground fast, you're safe, and you can take a lot of people with you on these center consoles. Well, Key West is legendary, and it's great to be here with one of the Key West legends. Thank you, John. Thank you. We'll see you again soon. Absolutely. Well, we moved to a little bit quieter side of the Key West docks, and we're here with Tron Shu from Nortec. And we had the pleasure of visiting your factory, and it was a great Factory Friday's tour there. So now, here we are on your personal boat in Key West. Yeah, this is the brand new model that we came out with. We introduced it at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Yeah. And this is the 46 Flyer. It has a fixed top on it. Also the shirt head going out in the back. And it also made it with a bow rider setup. So this was actually the first run with the boat. And uh, we had a whole group of friends from Norway came over and uh, we had a hell of a time on it today. And everybody enjoyed it because they ran up and down and back and forth. And we had a real good time, so. Well, that's a really interesting new twist on performance boats because, you know, bow riders are always seen as smaller, you know, boats, but now you've been able to incorporate that into a 46 foot boat, so you're really utilizing the space. Yeah, I think the idea came from we see all the center consoles, they all have no seats in the bow, you know, in the beginning they had small cabins, but then we started with making them open in the front and that turned into be a success and that nobody buys the front cabin anymore on the uh, center consoles. But then I noticed that a lot of people, when you go boating with the center console, they like to sit up front. So now when you want to build a boat that doesn't look like a fish boat per se, little more sexy looking boat, then you figure out we'd make it a bow rider, and then you enter from here, 
go through the cabin and back up on the front. And uh, it was a very interesting because today it was the, really the first time we get to experience it in real. And this boat just rides amazing, you know, it's 46 feet and 12 foot beam. Tons of room, you see this table that here comes up, also can be like a hangout sun area. You have a sun deck in the back, up front, and you, you can bring 20 people on this thing and have a great party. It's amazing. And now the color of this yeah. is beautiful too. It's really bright. What color are you calling this? Yeah, th this boat is actually made uh, after a Ferrari, a brand new Ferrari that has this exact color scheme. So the interior and the outside of the boat is made uh, uh, through my partner uh, Dave's uh, Ferrari. So he uh, he won a boat that looked just like the car, and, and I think he made it. You know, it's, it's right on with the car. So here we are with the Ferrari of power boats, yeah. Nortec. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope you have a great time here at the Poker Run, and hope it's uh, very successful for you for more new customers as yeah. they get to see you here. Yeah, I appreciate that. You know, like I said, we've been with this poker since it started, when Stu started this years ago. So we've been a part of this for all these years. So I think this is probably the 2050 year. 29th year. 29th year. Yeah, that's amazing. You know, yeah, see, now I'm getting real old, can't even count. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so we've been here from the beginning, so it's, it's very fun, you know. Excellent. We love it. Well, thanks for joining us. All Good right. to see you. You too. Thank you. After an exciting Friday night on the docks, the boats lazily wrapped up on Saturday to enjoy the awards dinner on Saturday night. Then on Sunday, head to the Race World Offshore Championship races completing a full long weekend of boating in Key West. At no other time on this island will you see such a display of horsepower and engineering excellence than at the annual Florida Power Boat Club Key West Poker Run. Don't forget to tune in to Boats.com to see our Factory Fridays tours of some of these stellar boat builders in action. This is a side of boating that thrives on life in the fast lane. So thanks for joining us on Yacht World.